Praise the Lord, Saints. Welcome to another Bible study here at Friendship Mission Church for the homeless and the poor right here in Montgomery, Alabama. Pastor and founder, Vince Rosada. My name is Minister Warren Rudd, and tonight's sermon is going to be on Behold, the only thing greater than thyself. We know that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is great. And all things he is great. The reason why I'm bringing out this story, my daughter reminded me of it, you know, when she was first born from the story Roots. I know a lot of you remember Roots. But when she was born, I wasn't even born again yet. But I grabbed her, held her in the air, and said, Behold, the only thing greater than thyself. But as I began to search the scriptures, I was right. Even before I was born again, I was right. Even Alex Haley was right before he even wrote Roots. So tonight we're going to look at a story about a guy named Japheth and how him and his daughter had a connection and what happened in that story which blew my mind. I pray God allow me to bring it into revelation as I'm going to do my best that I can do. But we're going to see a lot of scriptures concerning his greatness too. So as I always say, get your Bible, get your paper, get your pen and get ready for a mighty word from God. And as I always say, there you go, right there. Mm -hmm. God bless. Wonderful. It's not wonderful counseling, it's just wonderful. 
Amen. Counselor. The mighty God. So if somebody say Jesus ain't God, put him in the Old Testament. They already said God was coming, didn't they? Amen. They said his name should be what? The mighty God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yes. Amen. Go up to uh, where it says child. That word child there is a Hebrew word called yilat. And it means a pure birth, just having a baby. Physical birth. So when to us a physical birth child, you know, male or female, was born. All right? In the Greek, it's called techno, meaning straight birth. But then when it gets to the word son, and unto us a son is given, that's a Hebrew word called benign. Right? And it means the builder of the family name. So unto us a physical child is born, but unto us a builder of the family name is given. What's that family name in there? Christians. The builder of the family name. What's his family called? Christians. Amen. See, I have to bring that out. Look how great he is. He was the builder of you who claim to be Christians. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Titus chapter, chapter 2. Isn't that something? Unto us, a physical child is born, but unto us, a son, a builder of the family name is given. Amen. Titus chapter 2. <coughs> And verse 13, Titus 2.13, and it says, it says, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the who? The great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The, there's another verse that calls him God. The great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's great, man, and he's making you great. Once you accept him. Amen? Go to Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. He's rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. His love is so great. I always tell people all the time, you can't do nothing to God to make him hate you. The only thing that, will, that you will cause God to do is put his judgment on you because you refuse to accept him and live right. You know, you just can't keep saying his name and live any way you want to. You're already saying he's not great enough for you. You're greater than him. Behold, the only thing greater than myself. Can you send you to heaven? No. Can you send you to hell? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4. I'll hope somebody say no. I'm going to say okay. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 4. Oh, There's going to be a lot of scripture in the beginning, y'all. So just get prepared. You can't keep up. Just write it down. Then we're going to get ready to go through a dance and a song that just blessed me. Hebrews 4.14. And it says, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. What he's talking about. Seeing that we have a great high priest. What's our profession? That we're professing Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen? We have a great high priest. Why? That high priest is in intercession for you. Every time you mess up, God don't look at you, because if he looked at you, you would burn up. Amen. Hello? Because sin can't stand in his presence. So he looks at Jesus and says, they're innocent. Yes. Y'all need to understand that. Every single time you mess up as a saint, yes. or as a sinner, and you have truly accepted Jesus in your heart. Now I'm talking about people who truly accept Jesus in their heart, and who make mistakes. Yes. And make mistakes with sin. Not people who accept Jesus in their heart and still want to play. Because yes. then you ain't really accept him. Because that means there's no conviction in you. That means your conviction has been seared with a hot iron, as the Bible said. There's no conviction. There's no conscience. So therefore you die in your sin. Amen. 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 But we who have a high priest, when we make a mistake, every time we make a mistake, we say, God, forgive me. God, I confess that thing. I am so sorry, God. God looks at Jesus and says, forget it. Amen. Amen. I thank God for that. 
I thank God for that. Let's look at some scriptures of his greatness. Let's go to Psalms, starting at Psalm 77. We're going to stay in Psalms for a minute. Let's go to Psalm 77. And we're going to work our way up, okay? For those who want to know how great he is, I'm telling you, so many scriptures in here about the greatness of God. There's also, when I looked at the word in the Hebrew and Greek, another word for great is strong, bro. What the? Who said that? Amen. That he's strong. And then the power of his might. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, boy. I like that. Amen. Psalm 77, verse 13. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as thy God? Who is so great a God? Ain't that awesome? Tell you. Psalms 86. Psalms 86, verse 10. And it says, For thou art great and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Oh, my goodness. Can't nobody claim to be God but God. There was even a verse somewhere where God looked upon the earth and said, Who can he swear? Right upon but he saw that there was no man on earth that he could swear with, so he sweared on himself. Oh, Jesus. Amen. There ain't nobody worthy enough to swear on God but God. Amen. That's how powerful he is. Look at verse 13. Same one, 86, 13. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest what? Hell. Hell. Amen. Only someone that great can deliver you from hell. Psalms 92. Look at verse 5. No, sorry. 92 verse 5. Right. Mm -hmm. And it says, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very, what? Deep. Deep. Jesus. Amen. It takes eternity to understand God's essence and thoughts. That's why there's a scripture that also says, my ways are not your ways, yes. my yes. thoughts. Amen. 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 Look at uh, Psalms 95. Don't worry, I'm going somewhere with all this. <laughs> Psalms 95, verse 3. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Now, Amen. you see that, love, that God's at the end is what? Is that Lord. capital or lower? Lowercase Lower Lower g. So, in other words, God is saying, I'm a great God, but I'm greater than all your gods. Lowercase g, even God says there's other gods in the earth. You know what those other gods are? Faith. Man-made. Yes. Idolatry. Amen. That's why if you drink, there we go for the power. That's okay. We're going to keep preaching. That's why if you drink, they call you an alcoholic. Because you're an alcoholic that drinks. Okay? That's why if you smoke dope, they call you a what? A uh, crackhead, right? That's why if you smoke pot, they call you a what? A pothead. Come on, because whatever's the head of you is your God. Now you see why they call it the head. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> so, what God are you, sir? What God are you, sir? Amen. Because he's above and greater than all those gods. Amen. Amen. Psalms 96, verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Amen. Amen. It's lining up for you a little bit now. <laughs> lining up for you. Go to Psalms 99. And this is just in the Psalms. Imagine how many more. Well, I tell you, I was looking, Lord. and it was just so many verses on his greatness. God is awesome. God. Oh, yeah. awesome. He's just awesome. Psalms 99, and look at verse, where I want to go here. Verse 2 and 3. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is what? Holy. 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 Praise his great and terrible name. For it's what? what name are we talking about? Jehovah? I don't think so. No. No. Is it just the word God? No. I don't think so. No. What, what, did, what did he tell Moses his name was? I, I am that I am. And what does that mean in Hebrew? Self-existing one. No one made him. That Bible's my mind. I can trace back what made me. You can trace back what made you. But 
can you even fathom what they got? <laughs> Did anything make God? I said, no, I'm self-existent. Better have enough faith to believe in me. That's why Jesus told uh, Thomas, Thomas, you believe because you see. But those who don't see and still believe are greater blessed than you. Yes. How many in here believe that don't see? Amen. 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 Well, we have some intellectuals who like to question whether it's real or not. Now, sometimes as a Christian, I do. I ain't gonna lie, I do. But it's called a healthy doubt. It's called a healthy doubt. Amen. Because we're made of flesh. I would question you sometimes. You don't ever question whether this thing is real, especially when I see people die. When I see people die, I'd be like, every time I see somebody drop dead or just die, I'd be like, God, is this thing real? Are they real at the place where they know it's for real now? Whew. Is it really real? But then when I think about it again, and I see some people I know died the peace that be upon them, it's real. I boy, I'd be like, man, I can't wait. Amen. I can't wait. I ain't gonna hurt, but I can't wait. <laughs> Psalms 103. 103. I just don't want to die in sin. No. 